Hello everyone, an update here on the recent drone attack of an oil storage facility near Sevastopol. We now have satellite images of the damage caused, a before and after. The image on screen now is the before, taken on the 25th of April. The attack, if you'll recall, took place on the 29th. Now initially, the northern bit of the depot does look a bit shabby to say the least. It is possible that these oil tanks are derelict anyway. But it could just be we are seeing typical shoddy maintenance and they are in use, just very rusty and shabby. A bit like Russia's aircraft carrier. The second image was taken on May the 2nd. And here we can see clear scorch into the tanks on the right hand side of the facility. As well as the uppermost tanks also look burned and blackened. Now on this image, the cluster of six you can see to the left look undamaged. But the drone images we got, on screen now, showed that the first three of these were damaged and blackened too. Furthermore, some reports say that all of these were interlinked, so it is possible the damage is more severe internally. Here I've highlighted two sections. Section number one, we can see clear signs of damage on two oil tanks here, as well as four in section two, two of which as we saw in the drone footage were completely destroyed, so at least six of these tanks look to be severely damaged. To the south, there's a separate cluster of six which were undamaged. This is said to be caused by a single drone. So while the facility isn't a complete write-off, it certainly caused some severe damage to the facility. I've seen mixed sources as to the purpose of this site. Some saying it stored oil and lubricants for the Black Sea Fleet. Others that it was for civilian purposes. Here's a short clip put together by Brady Affick on Twitter using different satellite images, which is a nice comparison of the damage caused. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this update interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And also give a subscribe to NAFO69 Sniffing Brigade, who put out some interesting videos. And check out the video linked on screen now, as that's definitely worth a watch. Thanks very much, and take care everybody.